Welcome to recorder lesson number one, in which we review the fingering of the instrument and the names of the notes. Now, to be able to do this, the first thing that we're going to have to do is to be able to use the first seven letters of the alphabet. So, those seven letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you say it, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you're like, okay, that's really easy. And what's your point? Well, you have to be comfortable with that string of letters. So not only are we going to need to be able to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but you need to be able to start on any letter. So if you think A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you start on B, for example. Well, you think A, start on B. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. When you get the G, you go around again. So let's say you started on C. Why C? Because C is uh, it's the easy key. C is the key with no sharps, no flats, no black notes, no accidentals, no tic-tac-toes, no weird looking little flat symbols. So the key of C is usually where we start on the recorder. Because strangely enough, this instrument uh, is in C. So with that in mind, Start on C. C, then what? D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Got it? Try it again. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay. Let's cover all of the holes of the instrument. You're saying, which hand goes where? Okay, now I'm dyslexic, so when teachers told me to hold up my two hands, my left hand made an L, they both look like L to me, but you take your left hand and put your thumb on the back hole and then take your finger, your middle finger, and your ring finger. So now you've got three notes. Now take the first finger of the right hand, put your thumb there, put your first finger here. You wanna play there, there, and the pinky is the tough one. The pinky, you need to cover both of those little holes. So you try and feel, so reach out with your, reach, Padawan, reach out with your mind. Feel all seven holes at the same time. So, C, D, E, F, G. We'll do that again. All of the holes covered is C. Six holes covered, D. Five holes covered, E. Four holes covered, F. Three hole covered, G. Two holes covered, A. One hole covered, B. And here is where it gets a little weird. So we'll get there in a second. Let's do it again. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And to get to that next C, it's, if you did this, the instrument would fall out of your hand because you wouldn't be holding anything. It turns out C is your middle finger on that second hole. Each hole basically owns a finger. This finger is never going to leave this hole. I may uncover it, but and you can hear as you go down. So, right now, it's probably difficult for you to play in the bottom part of the instrument. Right now, it's probably pretty easy for you to go like this. And that's going to annoy everybody in your house. So my advice is, don't. Instead, let's work on getting a nice even tone, blowing through the instrument, so you can get a nice even mellow tone. Middle finger, C. B, one finger, two fingers, A, 
three fingers, G. Okay, let's try those four notes again. We're going to start with our middle finger on our left hand. The hole in the back is covered. We're going to play that C four times. Then we're going to go to our first finger, and we're going to play that B four times. We'll play the A with two fingers four times. And we're going to play the G with three fingers four times. So, I'll count you off. We're going to start on C. One, two, ready, play. There you have it. Okay, let's work on the lower four notes of the instrument. So we've got our thumb on the back hole. We've got one, two, three fingers on the front of the instrument with our left hand. Okay, and our right hand is going to cover these four holes. And as you do so, this finger here, your, your, uh, your ring finger, You'll notice there are two holes, and we'll get into that in a later lesson when we start talking about chromatic fingerings. But this allows you to um, get a pure tone on the note D as you get down into the instrument. And this one with two holes is the lowest note on the instrument C. Now, physics-wise, the longer the instrument, the lower the note. So, G. Take a big breath. We're going to play G again. Try and hold it. Let's hold G for eight beats. One, two, ready, play. Now we're doing F for, four, uh, for eight beats. Ready, go. Now, as we get into the bottom of the instrument, it becomes harder to uh, have good breath control. You have to be careful with um, how much air you put into it. If, if you blow a little too hard, what's going to happen is something like this. So here's E. And if I blow a little too hard, you can actually get it to, quote, overblow. When you overblow, you're actually popping it up an octave. That means you're going to the next E above, and we'll learn how to half hole the back to get a pure sound on the high E, but right now we're trying to get out, <laughs> so we're going to play that for four beats. Ready, go. Five fingers, do it again. Ready, here we go. Let's do the same thing, only this time we're going to have six fingers. We're going to go for D. So we're going to play D for four beats. Go. And let's finish up on low C. So we're going to play low C for four beats. Ready, go. And you could hear my note jump a little bit at the beginning. I blew just a little too hard. C is hard to get out pure. Okay, let's do an exercise. Okay, we're going to do an exercise where we're going to play each note going down the instrument from middle C, or the middle finger, first C, and we're going to work our way down to this note, the lowest C. So we're going to play the middle finger. So just finger it with me uh, once and not worry about time right now. So middle finger, left hand, first finger, and then we're going to go to the second finger, two fingers at the same time. Then we're going to go to three fingers. And then we're going to take the first finger of the right hand, four fingers. Then we're going to five fingers, five fingers, six fingers, seven fingers. Okay, we're going to play each note four times. Are you ready? Begin.
Now, if I had to guess, the places where you might have had problems, the last three notes in, uh, especially, the, uh, the D, the E, So one of the exercises we can do to help fix that is to play E, five fingers, down to D, six fingers, and then down to C, seven fingers. We're going to play three blind mice, or hot cross buns, or really whatever kid's tune you want to put on that to just get those lower notes to work for you. So I might go... And you'll find down there it's a lot more difficult than if you were to play it using B A G. I'll play the same song using B A G. So there you can see that because you're in a higher range, you're putting a little more air into the instrument, it makes it a little easier. Um, to get a good tone out. But down in the bottom of the instrument, it takes a little uh, practice to get those notes to come out. Eventually, what you're trying to do, what you're hoping to get, is you're going to sit in front of um, whatever it is you're doing for entertainment. Maybe you're listening to music, maybe you're watching TV, maybe you're um, looking at a video game. Um, anyhow, you're going to try and work on getting your fingers to move without you thinking about them. So right here, I'm giving an example of playing this scale, and I'm not really worried about um, thinking about it. So I went, like, I started with my middle finger, and I went, uh, so I went middle finger, first finger, second finger, third finger, four fingers, five fingers, six fingers, seven. Middle finger, one, two, three, and da, da, da. You're like, ah, my fingers are not listening to me. That's pretty normal. Um, in the beginning, one of the things that we're trying to do is to connect your fingers uh, to your brain. Um, a large part of learning to play an instrument is getting those connections, those neural connections, to be automatic and rapid and to not take a lot of effort. So, in the beginning, playing is a lot of work, but after a while, it'll be pretty automatic and you'll just be able to. Okay, so here's what we worked on in this lesson. We did a reviewing of all of the fingerings on the instrument, and we started with the alphabet. We said A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And after we got good at saying A, B, C, D, E, F, G twice, we started on C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And those are notes going up. To get the notes going down, we had to be able to go backwards through the alphabet. So we had to be able to do C. Do it with me. C, B, a, G, F, E, D, C. The more comfortable you are with that, the easier it is it's going to be to learn to play. So as we get into more difficult fingerings, um, having that squared away is going to be very important. So my advice is uh, use this video and use the warm-up video um, that's going to be uh, next as often as you need to to get comfortable to be able to you know bust out that C scale. Right now I'm tonguing. I'm touching my teeth with my tongue on the inside to stop the airflow. That's tonguing. Oops. 
you get the idea. <coughs> okay, quick exercise. Let's tongue every note eight times on the way down. So each note is going to be played like this. Ready? This is going to be a C to start with. Listen once. So I'll play the C. It's going to sound like this. After each one of those, we're going to take a breath. Or if you can do two sets of eight or 16 notes at a time, um, on one breath, give it a shot. If you need to breathe in between each one, that's okay. We're going to start on C, which is middle finger, and work our way down, adding fingers as we go. Ready? Here we go. Play. By now, you might be a little out of breath, and that's pretty normal because you're trying to get that breath control together. Let's take a deep breath. We'll start on F. Ready? Go. The beauty of having a video is if you didn't get it the first time, go back and try it again. Get in the habit of rewinding 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever it is you need to try and get that one exercise together. Anyhow, thanks for coming to the review of the fingerings in this recorder lesson number one. We'll see you soon um, when we're going to do some uh, lovely warm-ups and exercises. Okay? Thanks.